Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Q&A for you and my voice hurts so bad to talk because I have such a sore throat. Thank you to my wonderful co-worker who gave me this sickness because <laughs> all week she's had a sore throat and hacking and hacking and hacking and hacking and I picked it up and it's 100% in my throat. It hurts to speak. But I've been itching to do a video because I haven't been able to shoot thanks to getting sick, which I cannot stand to be sick. So I have been taking my vitamin C. I have been taking my nighttime cold and flu. That helps a lot with the sore throat. And then because the throat is like the predominant problem other than me being really crappy on was it Thursday and Friday with achiness? Um, I started taking amoxicillin because it literally feels like I have strep throat and this is all like so swollen, it's hard to swallow. It's like, uh, so I'm taking antibiotics for that. And a lot of people are like against antibiotics. That's all I have to say. I love my antibiotics, okay? <laughs> I'm a person that loves it. So with that said, it took me a long <clears throat> fucking time to find this because everybody's posted so many pictures on my Facebook page that I can't find the Q&A. I need to start doing this on my Instagram so that maybe I can be able to find things easier. Again, I'm going back to want to get rid of Facebook, which I plan on getting rid of Facebook. I've actually transferred, or not transferred, but I hooked up Phoenix's um, link to all my outside external pages. So if I shut my page down, I can still access them through Phoenix's page, which is pretty damn good. And he's actually a moderator on my, uh, my YouTube fam page as well. So it would be, he could access it through there. So th it would still be running, you know, still be there. It's just, I, I think it will. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But anyways. <laughs> oh my God. Makeup does wonders. It makes you look like you're normal. And I really want to do the paper, um, ghost paper challenge tonight. I'm hoping that my throat is a little bit better because it really is a killer to speak. I have coffee. I have water going. Yesterday I drank like a huge gallon of orange juice and um, today I'm just drinking warm like coffee and, and water. So with that said, and I got my sweatshirt on because I was cold earlier and now I'm like sweating like a horn church. So, all right, so I've got the questions pulled up. 99 people have seen it. Eight people commented. <laughs> Sounds like my YouTube channel. <laughs> 10,000 views and only 376 subscribers. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so for the first question, <laughs> uh, Doug, in your experience with the paranormal, what thing has scared you the most? Um... You know, probably the most recent with the Dibbic box and the Ouija board flipping and that fucking haunted doll has scared me the most. I think that has scared me the most. Not the pig snorting when we were having a seance, you, you know, when I was a kid. Not the pig snorting and me laying on the floor when I was like eight years old and hearing that. Not the skeletons dancing on the wall and my cousin running out of the room during a seance. Um, no, that doll, the Dybbuk box, that has like way overdid it for me. Like a hundred percent. Like that scared me the most. All right, Todd. Uh, have I ever followed? Okay. You mentioned the Goetia, which you pronounce it differently than I do. I know some people pronounce it Gotia, but, um, I think it's Goetia. I think I could be completely wrong. Um, have you ever followed its methodology to evoke a demon by observing a consecration period? Okay, so to, to wrap that whole sentence up, because <clears throat> it kills me to read it. Yes, I have tried to conjure a demon. I actually carved out on a copper plate 
um, his sigil because he, that particular demon that I was trying to conjure was um, uses copper. Uh, did the demon actually manage, manifest itself in front of me? Not that I know of. It doesn't necessarily mean that it wasn't there. Um, so yeah, I have tried to do that with the whole thing. But again, they leave a lot of little detail out in this book. So you're not getting the full story. And the things that they do put in there are kind of objects that are hard to obtain. I think one of them was... A willow bark, you need it, you know how hard it is to get a willow tree branch or something. I, I don't remember. It was something I was trying to do for a particular demon. I'm sure if I go and I pull it up, I could tell you the demon that I tried to conjure up. But uh, I'm not in my room at the moment. Um, uh, do you like dogs? Would you ever consider getting one? I used to have dogs all my life. But my mother is dead. Um, so I don't have anybody home with a dog. Otherwise, I probably would have a Rottweiler. That would be my dog of choice because I've had a Rotty before. I've had pit bulls. I hate little dogs. I only like big dogs, um, and female dogs. Don't like male dogs. Um, Chris, uh, Leffler, if you could star in any horror movie in history other than your own, which film would you choose and why? Oh. <laughs> I would probably be in the original Halloween because it's just iconic and, <laughs> you know, and it just is that perfect blend of, you know, the the killer stalking his prey and I don't know, you know, I really like the classic type film so it, it's just, you know, where it's like no real blood. It wasn't over the top with any of it. I mean, even Texas, the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I definitely would have loved to have been in. I, I do respect and respected Toby Hooper as a director. I loved his work in that. So, I love the angles and the shots and all that, but just the madness and the insanity that they just brought to the film. So, either Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Halloween. Uh oh, I went dark. Okay. Jason Elkins, what do you love, hate the most about Hollywood? One answer for each. Hmm, what do I love about Hollywood? <laughs> huh. Let's see, what do I love about Hollywood? Let, let me answer what I hate about Hollywood. For <laughs> well, only one answer. Uh, the chauvinistic assholes is what I hate about Hollywood. Yeah, people just arrogant fucks, <laughs> chauvinistic pigs. What do I love about Hollywood? <laughs> um, creativity. The creativity to be able to, to create something, to bring something to life from paper. That's what I love about Hollywood. Um, let me see, Alex Diaconis. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> What's the most unusual thing you experience with regards? to the paranormal the haunted doll Anastasia <laughs> I've never had a doll that's like freaking like moving and like you know twisting and shit that would be the most abnormal thing that I've ever experienced in my entire life the doll and I can't wait till I get to 400 subs I said last time I think I was gonna get, get rid of her at 375 but when I get to 400, she's going to be pulled and drawn and she's somebody else's problem. Trust me. Uh, Calvin Frazier, how long have you been interested in witchcraft and it got you got started for you? Um, how long have I been interested in witchcraft? Let's see. Well, you know, my mom was always into witchcraft and I was always fascinated with it when I was a kid. Um... I know my grandmother, my great-grandmother that I never met. She's the nicest person you ever want to meet, but don't ever fucking cross her. Don't ever fucking cross her. She will... She she will beat shit out of you on the street. <laughs> I know that has nothing to do with witchcraft, but my grandmother was a feisty Irish woman. I mean, her, her main name was Fitzpatrick, all right? So, obviously, fucking Irish is Irish as you want to get. Um, but my grandmother was very much into things that nobody really even spoke about. And, well, you know, my mom talked about it. 
you know, so it was always since I was a kid, I was fascinated with it. And I would watch my mom do certain things, and my mom just did certain things, and things just happened. And that's what kind of got me into it, and that's how it all started was because of my mom. And then as I got older, I started getting into the, the path myself. And, and I really felt like it was the right path for me. I really, 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 truly feel like it's the right path for me. And, and I'll be it. We went to church. We, we did the church on Wednesdays. We did the church on Sundays. You know, we were church, church people. But we also practice witchcraft. Oh, we didn't incorporate the church into witchcraft like like Mexican do with Santeria, where you bring in the Catholic saints and you don't even know people are actually practicing Santeria because they got all these Catholic candles around. But we didn't do that kind of shit where we mixed it up, you know, to hide it. No, 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 no. Um, if we went to church, we went to church, and you went to church, right? But if we were practicing witchcraft, that you were that was witchcraft. We didn't incorporate and hide anything. Um, it just wasn't spoken about, to say the least. Like, this is something you share with people. James, Grace, and Kelly, in your heart, what do you really, what, what do you think really happens when we die? Um, I just think energy changes form. I don't think that we go to heaven or hell. I don't really believe in heaven or hell. Um, I mean, mind you, I went to church and everything's heaven and hell and the devil and all this shit. I don't really believe in that. I don't think that you travel and go to a heaven. I don't really think there is a hell. Um, I think the energy changes form based upon the seances and getting... Voices on audio, I don't really think that um, you're traveling on to that. Because if you were in heaven, you wouldn't still be here talking. You know, you can't just like come back and be around that individual. You know, I know that there's planes and there's levels and there's different things like that. But I don't really feel in my heart to heart that there is that. So I think the energy just changes form and you just become a different energy base that's what i think like you're always around the people that you love you're always around the 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 people like i don't know just based upon having seances based upon communication with spirit i don't think you physically leave us and that's it like that's it your body is just a vessel your body dies but your energy still lives and that's what i think um, you've got great legs. Hey, what do you do to keep them toned and shaped? Like, well, I used to work out. <laughs> and I will be working out again as soon as I get the sickness gone. Uh, who's your favorite comedian? George Carlin was my favorite comedian. What haunted place would you most like to visit? Um, I think the Waverly, the, the prison. Yeah, I would think of the institution, the asylum, the Waverly Asylum, I think would be just, um, why did I say prison? Well, everybody was in prison there because they couldn't escape. Um, I think Waverly Hills would be, like, amazingly awesome to visit. And then there's another place in Texas that um, there was a video I saw on um, YouTube where somebody was in there with a recorder, and it was so full of spiritual energy. It was a cemetery, a little tiny rinky-dink cemetery in Texas. I would love to visit that place. I have to, I have to look that up. Okay, Todd Livingston, what are your thoughts about reincarnation? Um, I totally believe in reincarnation. I believe that everybody that we encounter in this current life we encountered in the past life. So like your best friend in this life could have been your mom or your dad in the past life or your brother or sister or you could have been married. And I think that it's just like a cycle that just keeps coming around and around and around and you continue to um, be surrounded by the same people. It's just you're just a, a different meaning in each life you know that's why some people just connect really good as friends and they don't really understand why 
was because in the past life they were either related or something and they had a really strong connection and I think that's what reincarnation is all about you know what I mean it's like that that's how I feel about it yes I believe it I believe it 100 percent Gary Montoya what would you do if you saw a ghost appear in front of you well Gary I have <laughs> Many of times. <laughs> and some experiences were good and some experiences were bad. It just depends. Um, but yeah, okay, so wow, I went through these questions relatively easy. And considering my throat, I'm trying really hard to get my throat, my voice to be workable because I really want to do that ghost paper challenge. I've been wanting to do it since Thursday. Wanted to do it last night. There was just no way in hell. Like I came home from work. I was miserable yesterday at work. I was miserable on Thursday. It was horrible. Now I was on the phone for like an hour on Thursday and then I couldn't even talk, uh, you know, afterwards. So it's like I'm trying not to talk only when I have to be on video and I really want to do the ghost paper challenge and I have been saying that I want to do it and I am going to do it. I am going to do it tonight because if I can at least talk at this level and not try to talk super loud or normal, then I think I'll be all right. And I feel <coughs> a little bit better as long as I take this. I don't feel so achy, which is good. Um, but it's just basically the aches. I had the chills on Thursday, but it's mainly all in my throat. I like this morning, this was so swollen. It was insane. I woke up at three in the morning yesterday. I fell asleep on the couch, woke up at three o'clock in the morning and I couldn't even swallow. And that's when I said, you know what? I'm taking my, my amoxicillin. I've got amoxicillin. I'm going to take it because if this is strep throat or some other crazy shit, I need an antibiotic to fight it, like fight it. So let's just start taking that. Continue taking all my other medication. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to be sick. Can't be sick. Oh my God. So with that said, guys, like this video, comment down below. Um, you know, anything else. I need to do videos for questions and then pull questions from that particular video and have on my Facebook page. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's a needle in a haystack just to find it, you know, and then trying to find it on this tablet is like crazy because it's so slow. Um, but yeah, with that said, like, comment, and I thank you to all my, uh, subscribers out there and all my newbies who've joined on. There's a few new people, so I thank you from the bottom of my heart out to you and my OGs. And if you're not yet subscribed, you're watching this video, smash my face in the left-hand corner or smash the hell out of the subscribe button down below. Alrighty, guys, turn on that bell for notifications so you know these videos are coming out. And until the next time, which is going to be tonight, I'm going to do that. Peace.